Hello friends, this is Rahul here uh, as a Chief Executive Officer of Treasury Consulting LLP and today we would be covering our technical topic which is Z spread. I hope you must have watched our earlier video wherein we had a discussion about Z spreads and uh, CDS spreads. Sorry, the relationship between Z spreads and CDS basis. But this time I am going to explain you what Z spread stands at. It is a very beautiful term. There are very few terms in options which are unfortunately mixed with each other like Z spread, option adjusted spreads and all. Majority of the time I have saw that people are mixing this with, with each other and they are, making a com they are making a common understanding of everything. This is wrong. Z spread which you are talking about, this is also known as volatility. Zero volatility spread. Zero volatility spread. Some people will also refer this as static spread, and some people will also refer this as uh, I would say uh, zero wall spread. Let me explain your practical meaning of what Z spread stands at. So today we are assuming two bonds. Assuming one bond which is offered by Microsoft. And for the sake of simplicity, we are assuming a very small tenor. Suppose this bond is having the notional value of 10 billion. And suppose the rate which is coupon which is offering is uh, 3%. Assuming take it 3%, I am taking a flat, although generally it is floating, which is liable plus something. And here assuming the tenure is uh, 5 years. Which means that Microsoft, if we compare, you know, the Microsoft here, then Microsoft would be offering here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So Microsoft would be offering uh, would be offering roughly 300 million of coupon every year. 300 million, 300 million, 300, 300 and 300 and fifth year they are going to pay complete 10 billion back you know and assuming we are assuming that the yield which uh, uh, Microsoft is offering assuming they are offering a yield of 5% then what would be the present value? Present value uh, would be like this let me calculate for you. So, which is roughly the val the coupon value of coupon present value is roughly thirteen hundred million. Let me tell you, and all that is coming uh, one two nine nine. Thirteen hundred million. It is roughly one point three billion. And principal, which is covering, is. It is coming roughly seven point eight. 6 billion so the total present value would be 1.3 plus 7.86 which is roughly 9.16 billion now the question here is why are we calculating this now we are comparing microsoft with ust ust stands for united states treasury five years Currently, the five year is trading at 2.3 percent, approximately 2.3 percent, which is which is his trading. Keep it same. Keep it same. Notional keep at 10 billion, you know, and uh, rate to be taken at 2.3 percent, which is live on Bloomberg TV, and tenor you to be key to keep at five years. Keep it same, and let's calculate the present value again. So here, uh, I am not, here I repeating again, here year 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, again write 5, here they would be offering, $230 million 
of coupon this is in millions and assuming uh, 10 billion they of course paying at the end suppose the yield which they are making is uh, uh, since it is a UST so yield won't be very high assuming they are making at 4% so what would be the present value the present value would be like this let me calculate for you So the coupon present value is coming at 1.023 billion while the principal value which I need to calculate which would be coming at roughly 8.22 billion. So the total would be Roughly 9.24. But why, why I am covering this, this present value with this present value? There is a reason behind that. I know that the present value of Microsoft is 9.16 billion. Shortly therefore MS. While the present value of UST is trading at 9.24 billion although fractionally speaking both are telling with each other both are telling with each other but technically speaking technically speaking this should tally with this value so what i would be doing although not calculating that this is only for the sake of an example how we calculate the z spread now what z spread we would be calculating in a in a in a uh, in 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 this bond where we have taken yield at five percent, you know we would be adding here I'm writing in a corporate bond of Microsoft where the yield has been taken as five percent, we would be adding five percent plus Z percent. What is this Z percent? This Z percent is the Z spread. So we would be dividing this. Although this is a hit and trial because I am going to be do here the present value of coupon plus the bond it is coming out to be 9.16 it would reduce further it would reduce further and this is an hypothetical example and what would happen using this using an appropriate Z remember this fact carefully Z could be positive Z could be negative if as an investor you are thinking that Z is always positive you are wrong if you are an investor, you are thinking Z is always negative, you are again wrong. Because Z is zero volatility spread, which is also known as static spread, which is also known as zero wall spread. That we need to understand. So in that sense, what would be happen? I am using a corporate, I am using 5% plus Z spread. This is what I am, this is what I am using. And this is what, how, uh, this is how it is going to be. In this, the bond would be equals to the UST. And this is what Z spread is all about. So in short, just Z spread is, a, is an additive or, or dilutive spread which is added to the corporate bond value. And with this, the present value of the bond should be equal to the present value of a, of a particular uh, government bond. But there is a contention, like I already told you. There are many people who would be saying, let's don't do that. What you should be doing now, ideally, this is not a Z spread. This is continuous Z spread. There are many people who would be calculating, who would be calculating instantaneous or who would be, who would be, who would be calculating at spot Z spread. I'm writing here. So at spot Z spread would act like a swap spread. And this is nothing but the difference between the corporate bond minus the GSEC. Although I can very well understand that, uh, I can very well understand that there are some content with the people. It is very difficult to, it is, it is not always suggestive to calculate the swap spread at a particular point of time. 
whether we should calculate the z spread on a continuous basis because this is the right approach and this is how the z spread to be and the example which we shared which is of microsoft and the example of the five year ust the example is covering of uh, example is covering of a continuous z spread z spread is a very important term of course the every uh, foreign exchange uh, you know uh, the every foreign exchange instrument would have a problem in itself the problem here the problem which we have here the problem here is that you know that uh, you are comparing microsoft with the us bond which is very easy it is not very tough but the problem here is that you know sometimes people starting comparing a bankrupt company with the ust although in a public domain i don't want to mention the name of a company but you are as a user you know many companies in us and europe and india also who are almost bankrupt what people starting doing they are comparing a bankrupt company with the ust so with the sovereign guarantee and they are doing a they are doing via z spread which is wrong so continuous z spread never said that you compare a bankrupt company with the ust this is perfectly wrong it always suggests that you should compare a comparable company with the ust example microsoft with the us government example google with the us government but don't compare say and lehman brothers with the us government it is a completely bankrupt company this is what we all about in uh, valuation of a z spread you always welcome to connect with us at www.treasuryconsulting.in my mobile number is 9899242978 and my email id is rahul.magan@treasuryconsulting.in and hope uh, i'm also very pleased to share that now we are on the vc platforms and we are being valued at 4.5 million dollars which is approximately 30 crores and this company is going strong we are also launching our fixed income platform this is a more than a year project the schema of the fixed income platform has already been shared in the public domain of course this is not the final schema over the period we are going to be involved several things and lot of changes would be coming in this schema if you have anything which you wanted to ask about the fixed income platform or if you are a venture capitalist who is watching our video you always welcome to contact us and yes we will promise you that over the period we would be adding ourselves in more fixed income or more venture capitalist platform the more updates would be coming as and when appropriate time would come thank you and have a wonderful day